What is going on guys? I'm Alwin here and this is episode 20 of AC Regiana's Rebuild. After yesterday's episode, we have actually played 7 games where we lost 3, drew 1 and won 3 games. I was actually over the moon when we won 4-2 against Lazio. But against Sampdoria, we were awful. Esposito had an awful game for us here. And you know, he had a goal ruled out in the 15 minutes and he missed a penalty in the 50th minute. And after that, you know, it was all about Sampdoria. I know, you know, we controlled the possession. We had a Baxter XG, but the XG is obviously inflated because of the penalty that we had. But, you know, they created more chances and they took their chances, although they only had 39% of the possession. We could not get ourselves going and our finishing was atrocious. Against AC Milan, it was the same old AC Regiana. We just could not get ourselves going. And AC Milan, you know, playing the same formation as us, 4-4-2 Diamond Narrow, they were way better than us in every part of the game. You know, they had five shots on target. Their XG was better than us. 57 possession. And yeah, CDK scored the winning goal and the only goal in this game. And they snatched the three points from us. And this game against Atlanta was the worst of the bunch. Cardinali had an awful performance for us in this game because, you know, they only had four shots on target and they managed to score three goals against us. If you have a look at this, you know, before their penalty, right, we were actually playing better than them. We were creating more chances. But that penalty actually shoot up their XG and they capitalized on it. You know, they capitalized on the momentum that they had, you know, when they scored their second goal. And in the 81 minutes, they made it 3-0. So this was just a performance to, you know, forget about. And I was really worried because losing three games in a row, you know, we were sitting in the relegation zone. And I knew that something was supposed to be done. And we did it against Torino. When we win 5-3 against that, but this, this was seriously a nerve-wracking game, guys. Because we were 3-0 up in the first half. And in the second half, Torino actually fought back. And the scoreline was 3-3 in the 62nd minute of the game. And I thought to myself, this is it, guys. Seriously, we are getting relegated this season because our team can't seem to defend. But, you know, the, the players actually fought on. They never give up. You know, they rallied on and they scored two more goals in the final minute of the game to give us a 5-3 victory against Torino. So it was an amazing performance. Our defense was atrocious, but we did manage to outscore the opponent, which was really, really great. And the last three games that we have played, we actually drew against Salar Nitana, you know, 1-1, and we won against Brescia 2-1 and Empoli 3-0. And today we will be facing Bologna, who are sitting in the relegation zone. But I'm not sure what to expect from this game, because last season when we faced them, we drew both of our games against them. So, you know, anything can be happen. You know, although they are sitting in the relegation zone, they are still a very, very good team. And their key player is Lorenzo Luca. If we want to get any type of result against them today, we will have to stop him. If you have a look at this, you know, even though, even though they are in the relegation zone, right? If you have a look at this, he has already managed to score five goals in CDR. And I'm... Oh my god, they are they, they are playing in the conference league as well. If you have a look at this, six appearances in the conference league, and he has already scored eight goals as well. So this is not this he he is seriously not a player for us to mess with. And you know, if you guys remember in FM22, right? I still remember when I was playing with AC Milan, you know, uh in FM22, he was a really, really good player that I signed from Pisa. Alright, he was a basically a wonder kid in FM22, and I'm not sure what happened to him this season, but if you look at his attribute, he's still a very, very good player. He's a huge player, to be honest. He is going to be a threat in the air for us in today's game. So if we can stop him from scoring, I think we will be able to win the game. By the way, guys, in Serie A, we are currently sitting in the 8th position with 13 points. And we are clear by 8 points from the relegation zone. And if we can beat Bologna here today, we will be 11 points clear of them. So that is going to be a huge start, a great start that we can actually have you know, as a team in this season too. And yeah, if, if we can really beat, you know, Bologna today, and if I'm not mistaken, we are playing Salento as well, right? Yeah, you know, if we can beat both of these teams today, right, we will be way clear of the, uh, you know, relegation zone. And I think I will have faith that we will be able to avoid relegation this season. So these two games are not to be, you know, uh, not to be taken lightly, you know, because uh, they are, teams that are supposed to be in the relegation battle with us this season but we have started the season well and if we want to stay away from the relegation zone these two teams must be beaten we have to get six points out of the two games that we 
will have to play against them. So guys, let's talk about the squad's performance before we get into our first match. Okay, okay so our top goal scorer is Gassan Ahadme. He have actually managed to score 5 goals in 8 appearances, 8 starts in CDR. And if you even if you look at his attribute, right, he is actually developing well as well. Alright, so, you know, I know he doesn't look that great, but he's actually playing quite well for us. He's consistent. I know he doesn't love big matches, but he's doing it for us, you know. And even last season, he played quite well for us, you know. 11 goals, 8 assists, you know, 19 goal contribution in 33 appearances for a relegation battle team, you know. Uh, he played quite well and he has started really, really well this season. And, you know, in the absence of Esposito, Esposito was actually out for the three games that we played against... Uh, what was it again? I think it was against Torino and the other two more teams that I can't seem to remember right now. Torino, uh, well, Esposito was actually out for three games, you know. And in the absence of Esposito, he actually managed to, you know, um, yeah, to talk down on our, you know, leading goal scorer role. And he did just that. And Egberto have actually started his career with us, you know, in a very, very good manner here. You know, two appearances, you know, Two starts and one appearances of the bench, right? He actually have four goal, four goal contribution with an average rating of seven point eight three. And as you guys remember, he's only nineteen years old with a lot of potential. You know, he's already a CDB player right now. And yeah, I seriously, I really love, you know, to see the way he's playing. You know, um, yeah, I'm really happy that we finally have a player, a young player in the club. You know that we do think, you know, can actually be an amazing player for us in the future if he doesn't leave us, alright? And then, you know, just to remind you guys, we actually signed him on a free this season, you know, he was actually uh, previously from AC Milan, he was released by them, we got him on a free and we are only paying him 200k per annum, alright? So, if he really plays well and if, if he managed to score at least 10 goals, right, this season, it is going to be the signing of the season, I can tell you that much all right and let's talk let, let's talk about our top sister branco wender Bowman. okay if you guys remember we signed him this season to play as our box to box midfielder and he's doing just that you know if you look at him you know every shooting of 7.19 i know there are some games where he did not play well but the whole team did not play well during that time you know so you know but four goal contribution four goal contribution in eight appearances for a box to box midfielder who's 31 years old i think is a good is seriously a good performance for this type of player. You know, I'm really happy with the start of, you know, of his career with us. And I really hope he will continue to perform well and, you know, uh, play play well all the way until the end of the season. All right, guys. So this is the team that I'm going to be fielding against Bologna today. It's going to be Cardinelli in goal. Our four defenders will be Tripal Deli, Corbo, Kevin Cabern, and Dimitri Falqua. The Riva is our defensive midfielder, Brescia Anini and Wender Bowman in the middle. And Esposito will be playing as our shadow striker today behind Ahadme and Egberto. Alright, so before we get into the match, I would like to talk about our new signing. So we have actually signed, uh, it was not me who did the signing, it was actually our director of football. And to be honest, he looks really, really good. And he will be starting against Bologna here today. Alright, so it is Kevin Cabern. We actually signed him on a loan from Norwich City. But we do have a clause, you know, a loan option, a future transfer fee set for 2 million ME if he play 30 matches for us. So I'm going to give him some chances and, you know, looking at his, you know, looking at his attribute and do, he do have a little bit of a potential, right? So I'm going to give him a chance this season and see if he can perform well. I will make sure that he plays 30 matches and trigger that 2 million because, you know, for a type of, I, I, I know he looks average, you know, I know he looks average, uh, you know, but he have a little bit of a potential and 2 million for this type of player, I think is quite, uh, you know, it's quite a good fee to spend on, seriously. You know, so, you know, let's just submit the team and get into the match and see how he do against Bologna today, especially against Lorenzo Luca. All right, so we are going to have our first highlight here. It's going to be Cassius for Bologna, Venuti now. Venuti passing it to Cassius on the right-hand side. He's putting up a cross, trying to look for Lovric, but Lovric's header actually almost went into the, you know, into the net, to be honest. And if you have a look at this, you know, uh, they have actually signed Colo Colo as well. To uh, what, to be honest, we actually tried to sign him from Ascoli. As you guys know, Ascoli was actually relegated last season, right? We actually tried to sign him, but he actually opted to go for Bologna. And I really hope he will get relegated against with Bologna. 
All right, so last season he got relegated with Ascoli, and if he get relegated with Bologna, right, that is going to be seriously very very happy for me. You know, I feel very happy because, you know, yeah, why did you reject me, right? Seriously, you should get relegated if you reject me. All right, so I'm not sure what happened there, but you know, the highlight just started with a with a save by Silvestri there. You know, he 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 played it long, and now the possession is with Terzic. He's trying to play to Orzic. Orzic is one on one with the keeper, and they have managed to take the lead. Against us in the thirty second minute, oh, that was an awful, awful defending by us. You know, oh, the long ball by Terzic was actually really, really good. To be honest, you know, we have to give credit where it's due. But I'm not sure who actually lost the marker. Who is this Kaburn? Kaburn is it? Is it? Is, is it Kaburn or Kevin? Ah,、uh, Kevin Kaburn. Kaburn. You know, if there's any Cameroonian, you know, watching this ah、uh, video, do let me know how do I pronounce his name. You know, I, I'm I'm not sure whether it should be Kerbin or you know Kerbin or Kerban or something like that. All right, so now we need to focus up because we are, you know, trailing in this game right now. You know, the scoreline is one nil and Bologna is on the lead. All right, guys, so the first half is going to end with the scoreline one nil. And if you look at this, you know, we are creating a lot of chances. You know, but all of the shots has been off target. We don't have a single shot on target. You know, so I'm gonna tell the team that I'm really not happy. Here and in the tactics, I will make ourselves, you know, to work the ball into the box. All right. So should I should I stop playing out of defense? You know what? Ah、uh, no. You know what? You know we do play. We do play. Ah,、uh, you know our passing quite well. We control a lot of possession. The only thing we need to focus on right now is to try to work the ball into the box and you know create better chances for our striker. And now Tripal Delhi. With the possession, passing it to Bresciani, passing it back to Deriva, Deriva, Esposito, Deriva back. He's trying to play a long ball now. Gasana, he made it through. Oh my God, that was an amazing performance. That was an amazing goal, not an amazing performance, guy. Amazing goal by him. The shot, the ball hits the underside of the crossbar and it went in to make it one-one. So it actually works, you know. The changes that I've done, you know, to work the ball into the box, it actually happened. A hard me. Oh my. Oh, look at that! Oh, that could have been easily a non-goal there. You know, <laughs> if it would have hit, you know, the crossbar on a different angle, that would have went out, <laughs> and we would not be having this conversation right now. All right. Oh, sorry. I I was actually supposed uh supposed to shout demand more there, and I went and hit on tactic. And all right, so it's going to be a throw in here. Tripal Delhi to Ahad Me, the Riva. <clears throat> the Riva lost the possession to Luca. I'm not sure what he did there. He was basically just daydreaming there. And he lost it. And now Falqua, Falqua on the right hand side. There was no one marking. He has a lot of space. Can he get a good cross in? He's passing it to Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman back to Dimitri. Dimitri now to Deriva. Deriva. Wonder Woman now cross to Gasan. The header was not far away. Seriously, you know what? I, I'm not gonna wait too long for me to make uh you know my changes. As for Sito, I'm gonna play him as an advance forward because Egberto have not played this game well. You know, Egberto. I'm gonna take him off for Corti Novis. All right, and Kevin Cabana has also not played well. You know, six point five average rating, and we are gonna bring in Amo for him. All right. So as you guys know, Amo. You know, Jose Maria Amo is also one of our you know new signing this season, and he have actually started quite well. You know, in the last three games, right? You have a look at this. You know, he have you know an average rating of seven point oh, seven point one oh, and seven point five as well. You know, so. Yeah, I I actually wanted to you know started him you know today, but I just wanted to give a chance to Kevin Cabern because I thought you know Bologna they are a team they are a team you know in the relegation zone, so I thought of just giving him a chance, but he did not show his worth in today's game you know. So let's bring in Amo and hopefully with Amo in our team right now you know I think、uh, our defense will be a little bit more solid, but we are in the sixty six minute right now and. There has been no goal yet. Seriously, I don't want to get drawn against a team that are sitting in the relegation zone. I'm going to stop working with the ball into the box, and we are going to stop playing out of defense. We are going to go much more direct, run at defense, be more expressive, and in transition, you know, when the goalkeeper is possession, stop playing out of you know out of our defense. And I'm going to ask you to distribute it quickly to our players. So, you know what? Not distribute quickly to our first. Distribute it over the opposition defense. Yep. All right, so Jacopo de Riva is actually on a yellow card, but if you if if you have a look at our if you have a look at our midfield, right? Nadi and Delgado is actually injured, so they won't be able to you know come off the bench. So I don't have anyone to actually bring in. You know our midfields, our midfielders are actually not 
uh, not not that great. You know, so what am I going to do is I'm going to take off Jacobo de Riva for Mela, you know, for, for Matteo Della Morte. Okay, Matteo Della Morte can actually play as a, you know, a shadow striker there. But you know what? I'm going to play him as an advanced uh, playmaker on support. Brescia Anini will play as a box-to-box midfielder and Wender Boomer can actually play as a defensive midfielder, as a deep-lying playmaker. He's a really, really good deep-lying playmaker as well. All right, and Cortina Wiss will be playing as a Mazzala on attack. All right, so, okay, confirm the changes and let's see if we can find a winner in the last six minutes of this match. Can we do it, guys? Can we seriously get a winner here? Or are we going to get a draw against a relegation? Ah, team. Seriously, I tell you guys, like I mentioned to you guys earlier, you know, it is really hard for us to beat Bologna. I'm not sure. And... Is it because I call it Bologna? Uh, by the way, guys, do let me know. Am I pronouncing, you know, Bologna correct? Or is it, is it Bologna? Is it Bologna or Bologna? You know, I, I don't want to offend any of, you know, uh, Bologna's uh, fans, you know. So do let me know in the comment, you know, whether it's, it is Bologna or Bologna. Hey, or, sorry, Bologna. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, yeah, that is not the result that we wanted, you know. I really, I really wanted a win against... Uh, against Bologna here, but we should just take whatever we can get. You know, we are we are supposed to be favourite for relegation this season. But, you know, nine games played, you know, 14, 14 points sitting in the eighth position. It is a very, very good position to be in. And we are eight points. We are eight points, you know, ahead of the relegation zone. So it is still a very, very good, you know, um, position to be in for, for a team of our calibre. All right, guys, so we will be playing, you know, Salento in another two more days. So I'm going to rest up the team and I will see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so I've done two changes to our lineup against Salento here. All right, it's going to be cardinally in goal. Our four defenders will be Tripal Delhi, Jose Amo, Corbo and Dimitri Falqua. The Riva will be our defensive midfielder. Bresciani and Wend Woman as our central midfielder. Cortinovis is our advanced playmaker behind Gassan Aharme and Espo Sito. Let's just submit the team and get into the match. Alright guys, so I'm really looking for a win here against Salento and you know, because of our next game, you know, our, our next two games immediately after Salento is going to be against Roma and Inter Milan. So we really need to make sure that we get the three points here against them to, you know, to basically just extend, extend our, you know, our point difference against the, you know, uh, compared to the, you know, against the relegation zone. What am I talking here? You know, just to, just, just to have a buffer because against Roma and Inter Milan, I know it is going to be really, really hard to beat them. So, you know, I really hope the, you know, the squad is going to be focused up and, you know, really play for the three points here today. All right, we are going to have a highlight here. Amo playing it to Gassan Ahadme. Now back to Amo, Tripal Delhi. On the left-hand side, can he get a good cross in? He has four players in the penalty box, but he found a pass to Deriva. Deriva now playing it to Gassan and Cortinovis. I'm not sure if Gassan is actually offside there. But if he's not offside, he played a really, really good ball, you know, to Cortinovis. He headed it down towards Cortinovis and he has scored. He has not scored. It has been ruled out for an offside. My goodness, that was just chance for Cortinovis to actually score his first goal of the season. And both of our strikers were actually offside. <laughs> All right, so it is going to be a goal kick here for Salento. Playing it long. Okay, Corbo actually headed it clear, but they won the possession immediately. Now, Antonucci. Salento passing it back to Cassandro. Cassandro to Bashi Bashi Roto, if I'm not mistaken. Bashi Rioto, I think. Yeah, that was the defender's name, I think. Bresciani playing it to Tripal Delhi. He tried to play it long to Gassan, but headed clear by the defender. But Bresciani won back the possession immediately in the midfield. And now Gassan playing it long to Esposito, headed clear by the defender. But we still have the possession. We still have a chance here. And when the Boomer. His header actually hits the crossbar. All right, it's going to be a free kick and a chance for us to get the lead financially. Oh my God, Corpo actually tried a bicycle kick there. <laughs> All right, and now, oh my God, this is going to be a blow for us. You know, Dimitri is actually out with an injury. I'm not sure what injury is he having, you know. It's a potential thigh injury. Oh my God, can it be a... Uh, please don't be a hamstring injury. Don't be a long injury because... He has been quite a solid right back for us this season, you know, early on in the season. But, you know, we are, we, we are still struggling to get our lead to, to, you know, to score our first goal here. And the first half is going to end 
with a scoreline nil nil. If you look at this, Salento actually have a better XG than us, but you know they have actually not created a lot. You know since the start of the first half, so we really need to buck up. You know in the in the second half, and you know what? I'm gonna go more direct in this game. You know we are gonna go slightly more direct, and we are going to stop playing the ball to our center back and full back. All right, it is a highlight here. Triple Delhi playing it to Amo, Amo passing it to Deriva, Deriva to Corbo. Come on, guys. Wonder Woman. Okay, I really thought we were going to lose the possession there, but he won it back. That was a good awareness by him. Now, Cortinovis. He have two players. Oh, my God, Brashian. And he has scored his second goal. <gasps> okay, so this is what I was hoping for, you know, for the first, you know, for the second half to start with. And we have finally found the lead in this game. And that was a really, really good goal by Brashian. And an amazing passing by Cortinovis, you know, to be honest. You know, we overload their defense and their defenders was basically just... Uh, yeah, they were everywhere. You know, they were dumbfounded and Brescianini found a chance there and he scored. No chance for the keeper to save that. And they are looking for a tight offside. Yeah, he, even the sun was not offside there. So, you know, there's no, there's no question, supposedly. All right, guys, so it's the 17th minute. Nothing has actually happened since the last goal, you know, and Esposito is on a 6.7. It is actually quite worrying, you know, to see Esposito not playing well. So, you know, what, I'm, what am I going to do is I'm going to bring in Leonardo Candelone for him. You know, for, you know, let's see, let's see if he can play well in our, you know, as our advance forward. Wendon Booman, he's actually tired. He's on a 6.9. So, you know what? I'm going to bring in Matteo Della Morte and Corti Novis can play as a Mazzala on attack. And Brescia Anini can drop down to play as a central midfield on support. All right. So, you know, two subs done. Confirm the changes and see if we can hold on to our narrow lead here. All right. I'm going to shout demand more here. And now, there is a corner here for Salento. Please don't score a goal here. Because uh, in this episode, we are actually struggling to score goals. You know, if you, if, if you realize, we only managed to score one against Bologna. And now, only one goal against Salento. I'm not sure what is going on. And I really hope, you know, this is not going to continue against Roma and Inter Milan. Because if that happens, we are going to be in trouble against them. Alright, so there's another three more minutes to go. You know, okay, there is going to be a highlight here. I really thought that the time was just going to trickle away and we were going to go away with three points here today. But no, Amo is taking his time. I'm not sure what is he doing there. He he just played a short passing to, you know, Cortinovis. <laughs> but uh, I think he was trying to waste time there. But, you know, that was an awful... Oh my God! I was just about to say that was an awful passing by us and the defender intercepted it. But Candelone, he really showed you know, his, uh, his capability as a pressing forward, as you guys know, he actually loves to play as a pressing forward. But in today's game, you know, because Esposito was not playing well, I brought him on as an advanced forward, but he pressed really well. Bashi, Bashi Roto made a mistake there. <laughs> he passed it straight to Candelone and he have extended our lead and the three points is ours. Actually, it's quite good. You know, I was actually expecting six points out of the two games, but we managed to get four points out of six. So I think it is still a very, very good performance by us. And, you know, I'm going to tell the team that a very, very nice victory. Well done. So let's have a look at the league table and see where do we sit right now with this three point. So we are, we have actually climbed up to seven position with 17 points. If you have a look at this, you know, we are only one point behind, you know, the likes of AC Milan, Juventus that are sitting in the you know, the Europa League and the Conference League position and even one point behind the third position as well. I know Atlanta and Torino actually have one more game. You know, they have a, a game, you know, on hand with us, but who knows if they lose, right? So, the, to, to be honest, things are going really, really well for us this season. And, you know, uh, we have started really well and I really hope it will continue until the end of the season. Alright, so in terms of when I'm going to be coming in back, I'm not sure when I'm coming in back, actually, to be honest. Um, most probably, I think maybe we could come back, you know, for the games again, Verona and Fiorentina or something like that on the month of December. You know, uh, this season, I am not looking to, you know, uh, you know, uh, go through it very fast because as you guys remember, you know, the last few seasons, right, uh, we have actually um, made, you know, each season about, you know, three to four episodes. I'm looking to make it, you know, at least five to six episodes per season right now since we are already in CDR, you know, uh, so that we can actually, you know, uh, dig deeper whenever we, you know, whenever we come in, you know, we can talk about the squad or anything like that. And do let me know in the comment, you know, if you guys would like to see anything else, you know, if you guys 
would like to check me uh check another or uh, uh, what any other league that are going on you know to see how the other teams maybe your favorite team doing you know or your favorite player what are they doing do let me know in the comment if you guys would like to see what is going on you know in this you know in this universe you know of our safe here all right and i will you know if you guys comment obviously you know i do read your comment so yeah do let me know do let me know what you would like to see in this universe and we can actually go through that maybe in our next episode or maybe in the in in the next few episode as well because sometimes i do you know uh record my episode ahead all right all right guys so if you have enjoyed the video please drop a like and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys tomorrow bye bye